Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. We are doing a mixture of videos today and just this jam packed into one video. Um, sorry for my room being a complete mess. You know, that's the reality of, of realness is that sometimes your room is going to be a complete and utter mess. I was just doing the cardio on the bike. But okay, so today's video is going to be a haul of the things that we picked up today. A uh, little cute little thing that I want to share with you guys that a company sent me and also a little bit of a mukbang. So we went thrifting today and we also went thrifting yesterday. So I kind of took the week off from thrifting with Daniel because I've just been feeling a little bit overwhelmed with everything. And since I have a lot of purses to still post, I figured if I'm going to take some time off, it is probably the best time to do it now rather than later when we have a lot of inventory. But of course, as a thrifter, you know that if I don't go, I feel like I'm missing out on stuff and I feel like someone else is going to get something. But good thing I went today because we did find one amazing item today. Um, yeah, so we also went to Bar Burrito, which is like a Mexican, which I don't know, it's run by, it's like the owner and all the workers are East Indian. <laughs> so it's kind of like, hmm, shouldn't Mexicans be working in the Bar Burrito? I don't know. That's just ignorance talking again i don't know but um last time i was there was when they had a grand opening and they were doing like a two for one half the price thing and i literally bought like three burritos because they were so inexpensive and they're super big like look like that is like <laughs> um i love their cheese and um chips cheese and chips chips yeah mm. Their cheese is so processed. It's like the kind that you kind of squirt out from 7-Eleven. But I love the taste, especially with chips. Because if you were to use regular cheese and just melt it and use it as a dip, I don't think it would work the same. Hmm. Whoops. Mm -hmm. So we went thrifting yesterday. We picked up this jacket. I figured I wanted another jacket rather than just always wearing this one. Um, what's good about it is it's vintage. It says Maple Leaf Construction Winnipeg, which where I'm from. So represent Winnipeg. And it has a maple leaf, which is synonymous with Canada. Um, and it is made in USA. So it's a made in USA. What brand is this? It just says made in USA. It's a large and... It fits well, but I, just, I want it to be a little bit more baggy because I ain't a large. I'm like literally like a 2X, so. Um, but I figured because it's a man's size, it would have been bigger. I feel like if I lose 15 to 20 pounds, this will work for me really well. Um, but until then, we're just going to hold on to it. It was a good price. It was only like $9.50 less a $2 off coupon. So we picked that up and it has some pockets. And I love like the 80s, 90s kind of cut to it. There you go. We'll see. And then we also picked up this mat and that bag. It is missing the crossbody strap, which I thought I had, but apparently I don't. So I'm now I'm gonna have to hold on to this until we can find a mat and that crossbody strap. But it is a really cool style. It's a flap in the front and then kind of like um zip around here. And it has all these wrinkles, but when I looked online. All I have to do is use a hair dryer and it will kind of smooth everything out. So I still have to try and do that without burning the bag. <laughs> so, and this was uh, $10 at Salvation Army. Okay, I want me more chips because these taste good. These chips are really salty, but I'm actually a fan of salt, so big glob of cheese. <coughs> this 
whole meal costs like I think $16 after tax, which is kind of expensive. I should have mukbanged what I had yesterday. I had Taco Bell yesterday. Yes, my eating has been shit, sorry. But it is what it is. I feel like this is a little bit better. It's a little bit um, healthier because it's all fresh and homemade, except for this. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> so today we picked up this. I love these. Chic Intuition. Um... We paid $3 and some change, and it comes with two cartridges, I think. Yeah, one cartridge attached and one cartridge with extra. So I love these. It's easy peasy. Excuse me, something flew out of my mouth. <laughs> but, you know, when you're ready to form an arcade or you want to hook up with a guy and you want, you know, to clean your shave your shit all over, <laughs> this is great because you don't need to um use uh shaving cream and i love these i've used these forever and i have like a ton stacked in my bathroom i love these when i see them at the thrift store i pick them up with no hesitation i think this retails for maybe 10 to 12 dollars <clears throat> the only thing i don't like about like <laughs> these places is they give you such a tiny bit of cheese and like a big bag of chips so it's kind of like huh That's not all going to be dippable. So half of this ain't even going to be dippable. Mm. Something about nachos and cheese just tastes so good. I feel like this is a cheese that you get from like Dollarama. Um, what do you call it? I forgot what it's called. It's like in a yellow container and then it's just all like soft. See, my cheese is almost gone and I still have like half a pa package of nachos. Hmm. I would like to take a break, an intermission, and talk about today's sponsored video is from Rose Forever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, a guy didn't send me this. I mean, I wish a guy would, but he didn't. It's a company sent me this. It's called Rose Forever. They are a company based out of New York. Um, so it's all like United States made and shit. Um, but look how beautiful this is. I picked this one. They have different kind of casing for your flowers. They have um, a velour, a velvet. They have a clear and various shapes as well. Ugh, it smells so fresh and so nice. And I believe the thing about these is that they don't go bad. So they don't need light and they don't need water and they'll never like go bad and like look and decomposing. <laughs> I feel like this is a much better option than your standard flowers because, I mean, it's nice to have fresh flowers in your house that eventually die. But when someone is giving me flowers on an anniversary, on a birthday, on Valentine's, I feel like this is a great option because then your flowers aren't going to die and then just be chucked out, turn into compost. Okay, at least this, you have the beautiful acrylic case and you have the, um, wait, what's going on here? Is this? Oh, I didn't even realize that this opens. Look, it can double as a jewelry box. Hello. Oh my God, that is so... I didn't even notice that. And I picked this theme of blue roses with a clear because it matches my bathroom theme and I'm going to put it in my bathroom. And um, it just reminds me of like Tiffany as well. So thank you today's, to today's sponsor, Rose Forever. I'm going to leave their information on the description bar below. I have a, a discount code that you can use and get money off. And I feel like this is so cute. Oh, oh, I love it. Look at that, you can push it in here, like pearls or jewelry. 
I love it. So thank you so much, Rose Forever. Look at that. Oh, and it goes like it goes because the thing is, this can double as decor. So you can choose like different colors to go with your decor. They have red roses, darker blue roses. They have white roses, yellow, and um, and of course, different casings as well. So like I mentioned, and it's very actually affordable. It's actually less than what I had thought it would be. <laughs> you know, um, Yeah, so if you're in the market to send anybody a rose or if you just want to buy it for your decor, definitely check it out. So beautiful. Oh my God, guys, I'm so annoyed. I haven't been recording. <laughs> you missed out on some good footage. I ate like a pig. I talked about some interesting stuff that I don't remember now. Ugh. Anyway, I apologize. I thought we were recording, but we're not. Um, we weren't recording, so I apologize. I showed you some stuff that I have to reshow you. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. We thrifted this Kate Spade. Um... $8.50 less a $2 off coupon. There's some wrinkling on the front right there. See right there? But not a big deal if it's fucking like $6.50. Some wrinkling on the back. I'll probably sell this for like, I don't know. $30 to $40, so. But I don't know, it's in like superb condition. Mm. 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 Things are falling. <laughs> Things are falling. I'm gonna put this all in my mouth, like, okay. <laughs> mm. So that's the Kate Spade bag. And then we thrifted this as well, another Kate Spade today. The other one was yesterday. Um, Turnlock Closure, very good leather. The leather is very smooth on this. I really like it. Um, it has a crossbody strap. I think it's a little toe up, but either we're going to fix it or we have a Kate Spade strap extra. <clears throat> <clears throat> this one I'll probably get like $25 to $30 for, so we're not going to make a lot of money on this. It was $16.99, less 20% off, so maybe like $14, $15 we paid. So the double our money is not too bad. I can't remember if I showed this in the last clip, but I thought we were recording. Maybe we weren't. I don't know. But this is Chi Keratin Mist. I know what Chi smells like because I've owned it before and it's supposed to smell like that. But it is a leave-in strengthening treatment. So love it. I love Chi products. They're so good. They're so like high quality, but also very expensive. So when I find them at the thrift store, I'll pick them up. <laughs> that wasn't a fart, I swear to God. It was like my fatness rubbing against my plastic chair anyway okay as i was eating my burrito when we weren't filming because we weren't filming um i spilled some of it on like my foil thing like the thing that the burrito is wrapped in so some of it spilled and i sucked it up like this and i was just saying which i thought was very important to talk about was that like imagine if i had like a boyfriend or a husband with me and be like what are you doing that's not very uh classy but it's not so it's kind of like do they just love you and get used to your idiosyncrasies that aren't normal to them. A lot of people had commented on that on the last video. They're like, yep, my man does this. My man does that. Hmm. I guess eventually you become comfortable. Because I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is the last of our burrito. Hmm. The sour cream and salsa just makes this burrito. Oh, fuck it.
So the last bag that we got is a luxury bag, but a very understated luxury bag, vintage Avi. It is Bali, vintage Bali. It is missing the crossbody strap, but the funny thing about this bag is the crossbody strap that comes with it just hangs, like it just clips on these. And it doesn't have a dedicated place for the crossbody strap. So because of that, I feel like it doesn't really matter. And you could like attach any kind of crossbody strap to it. It's like a briefcase closure with a push button. And it's all leather inside. Oh, cool. There's a little tab in here that says Bali. And um, that Bali. So there's a Bali, Bali, Bali um gold plaque there and then another bali bali uh tab inside and inside is all leather it's such good quality guys like virtually my inside has a few scuffs because it's leather lined but i mean aside from like a few scratches here too that can probably be scuffed out or polished out i feel like it's such a classic style it's a very like pushette matisse before pushette matisse with pushette matisse so <laughs> Um, I saw online it sells used for like $450. I'll put it up here somewhere. I do like Bali. I've thrifted Bali before, bag-wise. Um, but it's not really a brand that's really talked about much or hauled. Or like people go to the Bali store and, you know, a new bag and like haul it on YouTube. I don't see that often. So, um, and the quality is impeccable. Like it is. It's, it's, it's very reminiscent of um, vintage Celine. <clears throat> Reminds me of vintage Celine, vintage Gucci, vintage Fendi. <laughs> They're all kind of uh, in the same realm in quality. Anyway, it's top handle. Uh, and yeah, it's it's really, it's a cute little profesh bag or just, I feel like this is a perfect fall bag. Like you could just tote it around. Like I imagine this with a camel colored long coat um, and then maybe like a, lighter off-white or cream top maybe a turtleneck that is cropped and then a high-waisted brown or plaid brown uh trousers with heels and the trousers can be skinny or they can be like loose which is like maybe like the trend these days is wearing it like baggy loose um but totally a fall bag and it's perfect in season right now and such good quality. So if anybody's interested, let me know. It's, it'll be for sale. And if it doesn't sell, I'm happy with owning it and keeping it in my collection. But um, yeah. So again, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Rose Forever New York. They are based in New York. Thank you for sending me these beautiful flowers. And you could be my boyfriend for the week, Rose Flowers. <laughs> but ah, so amazing. I love it. And I'm kind of happy that a lot of uh, a lot of companies have been reaching out to me to do like sponsored videos because it helps the channel. It uh, you know it tells me that they like what they're seeing and that I can represent their uh, product. <laughs> We're just moving on up, moving on up in this channel, moving on up in the world of Miss Billy. Anyway, guys, I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to rate this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below about which items I thrifted is your favorite. Let me know what you think of the Rose Forever. Love it. I mean, I like I said earlier, I thought these would be way more expensive than what they're charging on the website. Um, and I've seen other companies, uh, like I've seen these before from other companies and they charge like an arm and a leg. So this is an amazing price. And I love the multifunction purpose of that drawer. Um, but to me personally, and I'm just speaking, you know, from my heart, if a guy were to give me this, oh my God, I would get down on my knees and I would, oh, mm, daddy. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to remain positive, productive, and progressive. Keep manifesting those dreams because they will come true. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.